For this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create what's called a Zoho Show. And it's a type of presentation that you can create online. It's free and it's very easy to use. And so your first step is to access this URL up here. And this will take you to the Zoho Docs page. And Zoho Docs reminds me of Google Docs in that you can create a document, a spreadsheet, a presentation. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to create a presentation. So again, you'll visit this website over here. And then you'll click the Sign In button to sign into your account. If you don't have an account, you can click the Sign Up Now button. However, I do have an account, so I'm going to click Sign In. I already have my user account information stored from when I last logged in. But if this is blank, you'll go ahead, you'll type your email address and your password, and then you'll click Sign In. What this does now is it will bring you to a list of your Zoho Docs. And I actually have a variety of different documents or presentations that I've created because I used this tool for my DTTP project, which is why I have all of these presentations already created. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new presentation. So to do that, you will go to Create up here on the top left. And then you can see you have different things to choose from. You can create a new document, spreadsheet, presentation, or folder. Again, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will create a new presentation. So click on Presentation. Okay. Your next step is to think of a file name for your presentation. So let's just call this Zoho Show tutorial. This doesn't necessarily have to be the title of your presentation, but it will be the file name. What you can do next is then choose the theme for your presentation. As you can see, Zoho has a lot of different themes to choose from. I'm personally a fan of this one, the community theme. I like the colors, the bright colors. However, if I didn't like the colors over here, you can see I can change the colors and then I can also change the different fonts that are used and I can do that by again going right over here however as I said I am perfectly okay with the fonts and the colors and the format for this template so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK so now you'll see this blank white screen will then replace with the title page for the template that I chose before we continue on, I just want to show you the different features of Zoho Show. Up here is the file name that we created. You can change that at any time. Again, it's not your title. It can be your title if you'd like it to be, but it's just your file name. We also have the navigation bar up here that we'll go through a little bit later. And this is basically the essence of Zoho Show. And what I like about it is that it's very user-friendly and the layout of the website is very simple and easy to use. So what we'll do next is we'll create a title for our presentation. So you can click on the click to add title box. If you click on it once, that will disappear. And then you can type in your title. So let's just call it Zoho Show Tutorial. And I do not want a subtitle, so I'm going to go ahead and click the subtitle box and then press the delete button on my keyboard and that goes away. And so this is all I want for the title slide. So the next step is to create a new slide. So to do that, I will just click on this slide button with a little plus sign and that creates a new slide for us. So to add a title to your slide, you just click on the title box and let's call this sample slide number one. And then you can add text. Now here's when we can get into the home. If you see it's called home, the home navigation menu. This is where you can change the font. So let's see, I'm a big fan of Comic Sans. 
can also make it as big or as small as you would like. You can make it bold, you can make it underline. You can change the color if you want. Let's change it to black. I'm pretty simple. I'm a, a black and white kind of person. You can get rid of the bullets if you'd like. So this is basically your, your formatting. See, it says the formatting over here. And that's again by clicking on the home button over here. Now let's say you wanted to insert something into your presentation. What you can do is now you can go to the insert button. And the good thing about Zoho Show is you can insert a wide variety of different things. You can insert pictures, shapes, you can insert text as we've already done. You can insert hyperlinks by highlighting a piece of text. You can insert videos and you can even insert Twitter feeds and gadgets which is pretty cool. What I like about this is that there's various options and so it's really your creativity has no boundaries which I think is great. So let's go ahead if you can see just by highlighting or placing your mouse over the different buttons, you can see what the, each button does. So let's say I wanted to insert a picture. You could either insert an image from your computer. You can insert an image from their image library. You can insert an image from Picasa. Insert an image from Flickr. Or you can search the web. And that's actually one of my favorite features of Zoho Show, is you can do a web search for an image without even leaving this page. So let's click on web search for this purpose and you can choose what it is that you want to search for so let's just search it's summer let's search for a picture of the Sun and you can press enter or you can click the search button so you find the picture that you want you click on it you click insert and then you can resize it to fit into your slide. Again, you can also obviously insert pictures from your computer or pictures from um, your image library, which is comprised of pictures that you've created for past presentations or documents. But in this case, I wanted just to show you the web search. You can also include shapes. If you find a shape that you want, let's see, let's do, let's do a, Oh, let's do another sun. And now you decide where you want to put it. And you can make it as big or as small as you would like. So there's a variety of different shapes that you can choose from. Let's see, we have the basic shapes, we have the arrows, we have different flowchart types of shapes, we even have equations, stars call out to our speech bubbles or thought bubbles so a wide variety of different shapes that you can include you can also include text and as I said before if you want to highlight a piece of text and link it to an external website you can do that by clicking on this hyperlink button above and then you can also insert videos Twitter feeds and gadgets by clicking on the design you can design what your slide looks like. So if you wanted to, again, perhaps do a different theme, you can go ahead and also change the font and color like I showed you earlier. You can change the background of your slide. Let's see, that one didn't really change too much. So you see how it changed the colors. You can also change the orientation of your slide and you can set up the different features of your slide. What you may have noticed just now is that this said saved at 12.28 p.m., which it's 12.28 p.m. right now. And what's great about this is just like Google Docs, anything created with Zoho Docs saves automatically. So while you definitely can go to the file button over here and click save, you don't have to worry about saving it manually every minute or two. By clicking the transition button up here, you can set the different transition effects. So right now it's set for no transition, but let's just say I wanted it to fade and see how it just faded. 
and you can change the time. So that, that went pretty quickly. Let's try what three seconds looks like and do it again. So now it's fading a little bit slower, which I like better. You can also just like Microsoft PowerPoint, choose to either have your slideshow play manually on your mouse click or have it play automatically after a certain number of seconds and that's completely up to you. And again, you can also um, change the transitions by either applying it to every slide or just applying it to certain slides. You can also choose specific objects to have an animation effect. So if you want to, let's say, let's click on the sun over here. For its entrance, you can have it fly in. And you can choose, for example, with this specific animation where it flies in from. So let's do the, let's see what the bottom right looks like. And you can do that with any object, whether it's an image, a text, different animation effects. By pressing the preview, you can see what that looks like. But now let's say you also wanted another thing to appear like that. You can click on something else. Let's do, let's have this one zoom. Now you see this says number one over here and this says number two over here. What that means is that this animation will occur first, followed by this one. We preview all of it now. See how that one came first, and then that one came second. By clicking on the slideshow button, you can choose to play your show from the beginning, from the current slide. You can set up specific slideshow features, very much like PowerPoint. View, you can choose how it is that you are viewing your slide in this editing mode. So we're just viewing it as a normal slide view. It's only zoomed in at 91%, but you can zoom it in either less or more if you'd like to. Review, this is just referring to the different versions of the show in case you edit it at one point and then you want to create another version of the show. I wouldn't really worry about this so much, um, but this is a feature if you would like to and you can view all the different edits that you've made. And then if you'd like to go and share your show, you can click on share and you can either publish it to the external world, you can get an embed code to embed it, which is what I might do in the future. You can share it with different people and you can choose your sharing settings. So you can make it private, you can make it public, however you'd like to do it. But what's great is that this can be shared with multiple people. Now we'll go back to the home screen. So I know this presentation only has two slides. However, these are the features for Zoho Show. Again, it's a very simple tool to use. It's free, it's user friendly, and I think it is definitely a valuable tool to use within the classroom.